Welcome back to the discussion 5G Modernization and the Art of the Possible for Government, sponsored by Verizon on Federal News Radio, part of the Federal News Network. My guests today are Nick Nyland, Director of Product Development, Verizon Public Sector, and Mike Majorana, Senior Vice President, Verizon Public Sector. I'm your moderator, John Gilroy. You know, Nick, the word modernization is tossed around in the government every single day. We read it in newspapers, we talk to people, we hear about it. This goes hand in hand with 5G. So tell me, how would 5G and modernization uh, really assist our federal listeners? Yeah, I'd start with the realization that data is being generated across many different networks today. Some on agency networks, some on third party networks. And that's only going to accelerate with 5G. 5G is going to bring in a lot of new use cases where data is going to be driven over Verizon's ultra-wideband 5G network. Uh, Software-defined networking is really the first step in realizing and confronting this challenge where you have networks that you may own, fiber networks, broadband networks, ethernet networks, cellular networks, and being able to deliver application-aware routing across any of those networks so we can move your data securely and efficiently, regardless of which network you're on. Uh, with 5G, you're able to enable software-defined networking, software-defined WAN, wide area networking, over multiple networks, including 5G. And then with network slicing, we're able to separ separate out the traffic that goes over those networks. So you can put mission-critical uh, traffic over one network and less important traffic over another. High bandwidth, low latency traffic on one network, and lower bandwidth, higher latency, uh, impacting traffic on another. Much more control over, over networks. You know, Mike, what this could lead to is collapsing of networks, all these hybrid networks, wireless networks, they're all gonna come together. Well, to the end user, it honestly doesn't matter. The end user is mostly concerned with the performance of the application at the endpoint of the device that they're using and uh, getting the job done. Uh, at Verizon, we've become a long-standing, trusted partner of our government in delivering secure and reliable uh, networks with which um, our governments can communicate uh, and operate. 5G, software-defined networking, virtual uh, network services is the next generation uh, that will enable uh, our government customers to put more applications in the cloud, specifically more workload-dependent applications in the cloud, in a secure and efficient way while not sacrificing uh, the reliability and performance that they've become uh, certainly used to and they need, particularly our uh, mission critical uh, customers uh, that are uh, serving our citizens every day. You know, Nick, you pick up the newspaper and in April there was the heavy Falcon launch, okay? Satellites are going up everywhere. IoT devices are everywhere. These complex networks are very, very hard to manage and you really need the request need for speed to manage these, don't you? You do, you absolutely do. Uh, the other thing that you need, though, is trusted partners that understand networking, right? So that's where federal agencies have relied on Verizon for years, for decades, on helping them manage the complexity of networks. And networks are only becoming more complex, not less complex. The data that's being generated on their own networks is shrinking. The data that exists in cloud environments uh, and on third-party networks is growing. And so being able to manage not just the the understanding of where your data is, how your data tra traffics those networks, but also the security of those of that data across all the, all the networks. And so having a large international global managed service provider like Verizon come in and help you better understand your risk portfolio and then how to address that risk across networks and your data wherever it goes. This risk is very, very important for our listeners. And when you think about the public cloud, the hybrid cloud, you think about satellites and IoT, uh, we get to a position where uh, there's almost this concept of network slicing. Is that what's going on? Network slicing, as Nick indicated uh, in his prior remarks, to be able to have application-reliant uh, movement of information, depending on the type of information it is, uh, is, is certainly an outcome of, uh, of 5G networks and overarching uh, intelligent edge networks uh, in general. Uh, what we're really, uh, in addition, uh, focused on is the security uh, of 5G. Verizon has become extremely well known for the network uh, reliability and the network performance uh, that uh, we enable. Uh, 5G is no different and the security with which we enable 5G, uh, whether that be uh, our supply chain, uh, the manufacturers that we uh, depend on to enable this technology, as well as our ability to monitor uh, the network uh, with our global uh, network operations centers, 
uh, working hand in hand uh, with our government customers to ensure that they can rest easy uh, that the important uh, data that they are uh, uh, utilizing and communicating over these networks are, uh, are maintained in a secure fashion. Nick, tell me more about this increased speed helping the federal government reduce risk. Absolutely. So increased speed is one way of accomplishing the mission. Decreasing risk is a different thing altogether. And so we have to take those two things and separate them and make sure that the increased speed doesn't just generate data that no one's going to look at, and that that increased speed doesn't add risk to a portfolio uh, that network managers are trying to better understand. And so increased speed can also mean increased analysis of data. And so Verizon has a, a, a tremendously large international global backbone where we've been used to dealing with 100 gig speeds, 400 gig speeds across our backbone for web traffic for many, many years. And so we've gotten to the point where we understand how fast data, how bandwidth increases can lead to better understanding of what's happening on your network. To be able to use software-defined networking in, com in combination with those speeds to slice the network in ways that give you visibility into what's happening, analyze the data on your backbone, and then be able to move data around to where it's necessary at the moment of need. We often hear about the overload of data and how agencies have to deal with that. It's about delivering the right data to the right user when they need it most. And that's what all of that extra bandwidth and the network slicing can really do for an agency. My guests today are Nick Nyland, Director of Product Development, Verizon Public Sector, and Mike Majorana, Senior Vice President, Verizon Public Sector. I'm your moderator, John Gilroy, on the discussion 5G, Modernization and the Art of the Possible for Government, sponsored by Verizon on Federal News Radio, part of the Federal News Network.